just about ready to roll here. And on the hill, the lefty, Chris Sale. What do we need to know here? He's racked up over 2,000 strikeouts in his career. He's such a competitor out in the mound. So fun to watch him work. I'm excited for this one. Bogarts with the throw to first. One up, one down. G1 Bay stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Singy strikeouts are king these days, and entering the 2023 season, Chris Sale holds the big league record. He is the leader, most strikeouts per nine innings. That one lifted to left. Rice in position, and there's two away. In the air, right field. Bets on the move. Makes a nice running catch. And that is that. Down in order, go the Pirates. And we're back here at Fenway Park. Today's starting pitcher, Vince Velasquez. Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Betts in the second. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. Strike in there. Throw to third, and he's in there easily. Well, maybe he thought he should have gone for a triple instead of a double and just decided, I'm going to take third this way. Definitely using his legs to his advantage right here. Here comes a pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Fires to first on the run, but the go-ahead run comes in to score. Stepping in, David Ortiz. Big game last night. He went four for five. Into left center for a base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down. And it's like he's moving in full speed and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Mike Lowell stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. In the air, right side. McCutcheon has it sized up. Drops into the glove. Runner tags it second. Now he launches a throw over his head. And he moves up to third. Now two away. Jim Rice up next for the Red Sox. You know, when you look around the game and think about the best power hitters in the sport, this guy is one of the first names you got to come up with. That's a base hit as a run scores. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So here's Christian Vasquez. Now a fly ball to right center. Reynolds racing over to make the catch. Back in. pitch well after scoring runs this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning get that hot team back in there to swing the bats and sale deals swag and a miss the velocity blasted it right past him here's the left fielder Connor Joe first Whoa, offering right and it just misses sale a former all-star he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a sinker. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. Bounced out to short. Tosses across the first. 
Two up, two down to the top of the second. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, well, do whatever it takes. Sail ready. And a strike in there. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Got him looking. And how about Chris Sale locked in now? Back here at Fenway, we have in the bottom of the second. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Rob Ref Snyder. The right hander back to work. And that one ripped to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Here's Kike Hernandez. And first offering is fouled off. There's a swing and a drive. It bangs off the wall. Joe throws to second. The tag and they cut him down going for two. Rafael Devers up to hit. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. And Devers hits that one. Reynolds gets under it. And that is that. Red Sox go to. Back now at Fenway. Here's a speed threat. Number 19. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Sale. Multi-time All-Star. 34-year-old vet. A former first-round pick back in 2010. Sale delivers. Battling here as he fouls it away. Going two now. Next offering popped in the air. Right field. Hauls it in, and there's one away. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. Shoots a line drive single into right center. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Good piece of hitting going the other way with that pitch to beat the shift. You know, not a lot of guys are willing to do that, even with the shift on, because they're looking to pull the ball with authority. But it's a pretty easy hit if you want it. Started to go after it. Now a look down to third. And yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Gary Simmons. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out. And we'll. Back here in Fenway, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Mookie Betts will get us started. And here it comes. Pulls that one foul. Well, Fenway Park about as unique as they come in terms of the dimensions and outfield layout. It's different out there. The outfield has to play as a unit with the dimensions. Oh, nice stop on a slide. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. Now here's Sander Bogarts now. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. And some managers coming into this ballpark will play their center fielder in right field because that is the most territory that has to be covered. Not on that one drilled left field. That's down. One hops off the wall. Bogart's into second. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Runner breaks for third. There's a ball. And now a wide throw to third. The high throw just adds a fraction of a second from catching the ball to putting the tag down on the runner. Hard to say for sure if a good throw gets him, but as soon as that one took off from the catcher's hand, there wasn't much of a chance. Base hit and a run in to score. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And now it's going to be Mike Lowell. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. 
That was a moonshot. And they boost their lead. It's 5 zip. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Digging in, Jim Rice. Now a high fly ball out to left center. And there's two down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Vasquez now in the box comes up empty with a swing there and that's a base hit so a two out knock keeps the inning alive seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there nice line drive to the pole side met it out front but just stayed through it nice enough no, Velasquez checks over to first and he's back and here is Rob Ref Snyder lifted in the air right center field nice grab McCutcheon able to make that play and that's the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of... Back in Boston, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, G1 Bay. The wind of the pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Punch out there. One gone here. Oh, well, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Reynolds oh. at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. That to right. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But oh, right the there, camp. somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no oh, one could get to it. And he'll two. Fights it off, you'll see another. At the belt and fires. And ball oh, one. Two strikes. Reynolds, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next offering is foul back. Sail on a 1-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Gassed it right by him. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Connor Joe. First offering misses the mark. to the right side to second there's Bogarts out number three back here in Boston leading off Enrique Hernandez Velasquez back to work out to short whips it to first on the run one out in the bottom of the fourth now and it's Rafael Devers in the box maybe expecting a punt here third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass on the ground right side whips it to first already two gone here in the home four back to the top of the lineup and stepping in for Boston Mookie Betts worm burner into the outfield for a knock so two down now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. This guy, one of the best contact men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. Out to short. They take the force out. That's out number three. Yeah, the red. 
And welcome back. New inning getting started. And here's the catcher, Kevin Plawecki. Out front and foul to the left side. Golden one now. Hey. And that clips the inside corner. Oh, two is count. Got him. One away here in the fifth. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. And Vasquez able to pull it down. Two away down. On the ground to third. Rolls across the diamond, and that is that. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Stepping in the long ball threat, David Ortiz. And a pitch. Ground ball right side. Dives, and he can't hang on. That leaves him without a throw, and the speedy runner is on at first. And the Pirates manage. On the mound now for the Pirates, Johan Oviedo. Well, they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Throw back in quickly, first and second now with nobody out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have. Double steal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to third. Safe. Double steal. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. And the right-hander deals. And that one pulled foul. In the dirt, kicks away from the catcher. Sends it to first, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so in an 0-2 count. You feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. And a pitch. Out to short, Bay handles. Whips it across, there for the out. Runner scores from third. So stepping in for Boston, Rob Refsnyder. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Next pitch is popped up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Back here at the ballpark, now here is Tucapita Marcano. And first offering is fouled off. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Hernandez has it sized up. Brings it in, and there's one down. So the lineup flips over. Up next for the Pirates, Key Brian Hayes. In there, and it's 0-1. Good eye in that spot. And a count one and two. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And a ball evens the count. High fly ball, right field. Pets on the move. Two down. G1 Bay, the next pirate to hit. And a good fastball All to start him down. off. That's strike one. Bay, in his rookie season, 23 Eight. years old. And he's a native of Go South ball. Korea. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strike. Of the mm -hmm. 
Oviedo in his second season, 25 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. And a base hit up the middle. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he'll pull into second safely. Just so sound in his mechanics. It's against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Rafael Devers. Back up the... Oh, that got him! Safe at first, and now after the play, we'll check on the right-hander status. On the mound now, Robert Stevenson. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Now it's Mookie Betts. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy. And now this is down for a base hit. One run across. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. And here is Xander Bogarts. Ripped on a line to center. Reynolds makes the grab. Both runners tagging. In to score is the runner from third. And it's an eight-run lead. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Runner from third comes across. And they now lead by nine. So here's the cleanup hitter, Mike Lowell. He's already homered in this game. He's already homered here in this one. Hard ground ball, base knock. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Back-to-back -back base hits. It's hard to hit a baseball much better than that, and even a lot of professional hitters aren't able to reach an exit velo of 114 miles per hour. I'll tell you what. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. Pitch is high, throw to third, too late, save, double steal. Ortiz on third, Lowell at second with one away. On the ground to short, Bay collects, fires across the diamond, out number two and another run comes in. Here's Christian Vasquez, outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Line drive, base hit, right center field. Lowell around third. He'll score easily, and they extend their lead. And that's a two-out double. Waste no time there. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on playing with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Pirates with a new arm on the mound. Harleen Garcia throws to second, and he's out. Oh, try for two, but one. So the Red Sox bring out a new pitcher, John Schreiber. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Foul ball. Next one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. pitch fights that one away still one and two righty delivers spoils a two strike pitch and he'll see another five foul balls in this at bat so far and these guys are going head to head you can see the crowd they're starting to get into it a little bit more even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet McCutcheon in the box now no balls in a strike next offering is in for a strike Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, tough night at the dish, punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. He's under it at first, and that'll do it. Bottom of the seventh, here's a big power threat. Enrique Hernandez. And he deals. That smash towards center. Reynolds makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Now it's Devers at the plate for the fourth time tonight. 
Line drive. Reynolds makes the play. That's out number two. So the batting order turns over. Mookie Betts up next for the Red Sox. And now the lefty. And that one hammered. Bangs off the wall. And he's got a double, his fourth hit. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it... Line drive, base hit. Flying around third is Betts. He will score, and the lead continues to grow. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. And next for the Red Sox, David Ortiz. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. In the air, out towards left center. Reynolds makes the catch, and that'll do it. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's Kevin Ploiecki. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Check swing on an 0-2. Appeal to first, and yes, he offered at it. The pitch. And a swing and a miss, and one away. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because we will get around the league in a hurry. Well, we see it a lot more these days than we ever did when I played, but a slider in the 90s still catches your attention. Even if you're sitting on the pitch, Good luck recognizing that tight spin. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now here's the Red Sox DH, Mike Lowell. And the pitch. That one ripped. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And he's got a double. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Yeah, the batter now, Jim Rice. Whoa, Throw to third, save. That wasn't close. Wow, these guys are merciless. I'd say a questionable decision to steal third right there with the big lead. Probably won't be received well in the other dugout. On the ground. Slings to first. That's out number one. And a run comes in to score. Christian Vasquez, the hitter. Knocks it down. He doesn't have a throw. And they come away without an out. Nice weight transfer there. He gets the front foot down. And when a hitter is hitting against a firm front side, his hands can be lightning quick through the zone. And fouled off. Here's your one. Hot shot to third. One at second. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. And we're back here at Fenway Park. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now here is Tucapita Marcano. Schreiber in his third season he features a slider a four seamer a sinker and he works in a changeup on the ground to Devers Devers jump throw awesome play there so the Pirates batting order turns over now batting key Brian Hayes and the first pitch misses for ball one that clips the corner Kicks and fires. Got oh. a good eye there. It's a good take. Next offering is foul back. Swings and misses. Struck him out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Rice in position. And he'll put it away. Ball game. 
and the Red Sox use two pitchers to combine for the shutout. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level, and you start to gain this momentum, and you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers.